Hair loss uh, continues to be one of the things that women uh, rightfully fear the most. There are some chemotherapy drugs that don't cause hair loss, but unfortunately, the drugs that have the highest cure rate in the adjuvant setting or neoadjuvant setting in breast cancer are ones that cause hair loss. Those being adriamycin or cytoxan or the taxanes. I wish that we would have drugs that didn't cause hair loss, but obviously one will put up with hair loss to improve the cure rate. In general, the hair loss can occur fairly rapidly, generally two to three weeks after the initial chemotherapy. Most women at that point feel comfortable or feel most comfortable shaving their head and getting a wig. But we now have a number of women who use a baseball cap or a scarf or in many instances just go bald. The hair loss uh, is reversible. Once the chemotherapy is finished, the remaining treatments that are often done at that point do not influence regrowth of the hair. That is, if more surgery is needed or reconstruction or breast radiation or one of the anti-estrogen pills, none of those things will inhibit hair growth. The hair will often come back either curly or darker or gray uh, and initially some women may love the curly hair or hate the curly hair but eventually the hair will be exactly like it was in the beginning. Patients often uh, feel comfortable without a wig by four to five months after chemotherapy. Their hair is short but, but acceptable and then ultimately their hair will regrow to the point where it was prior to the treatment. Hi, I'm Dr. Jay Harness, and I want to share with you important information that I believe that every newly diagnosed patient with breast cancer needs to know. I'm a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. And I want every woman to know about personalized breast cancer treatment and the genomic test. A test that helps guide a woman and her doctor to the best treatment options for her. Pass it on.